The severe weather threat definitely growing today and tomorrow as our system shifts off to the south and east. Plus, there could even be a few strong storms into parts of the northeast. So a lot of new people have been stopping by over the last couple of days. I'm Travis Roberts. Welcome. I spent years in television as a chief meteorologist. I got out of the business because... Let's face it, if you've got kids like me and you're doing the 5, the 6, the 10, and the 11 o'clock news, those of you on second shift, I feel your pain. I know exactly where you are. But I've always had a love for weather forecasting, and I'm, I really enjoy it. So I hope you find this content helpful. If you do, subscribe and let me know how things are going where you are. I always love hearing from you guys. Let's talk about what's going on. I'm going to go through this quickly. That's probably the longest intro I've ever done on this channel in a very long time. So let's just hop right to it. We've got severe weather that has expanded. That threat pushing now at least the four out of five. That's the moderate risk now across southwest parts of Wisconsin. The very far tip, the southern tip of Minnesota. But don't get hung up here because even further to the north and west and just outside of these moderate areas, it doesn't mean you won't see the risk of severe thunderstorms. But look, the biggest threats down through Iowa, northern parts of Missouri, an enhanced area now pushing even further south to central Missouri, east into parts of Michigan. I got to tell you something to keep an eye on. We're going to look at this too here in a minute. The cool waters of Lake Michigan may actually help you guys here on the, uh, the east side of the lake. That's something that I'm kind of looking at. I don't know how much of an influence it will have, but it might. The problem will be we'll likely see a front sitting here too, and that'll just enhance that wind shear. So let's now look at the tornado threat. That is increased too. You've got a significant severe area that's been hashed out here across Wisconsin, south through central Illinois. It does include Rockford and then into parts of northern Missouri with that bullseye here, again, across Iowa. You watch these storms off to the south too, across Missouri and Arkansas, and even further east too. Now, the good news is, I guess, if you're in Chicago and central Illinois, the biggest threat is to your west, but it is not a zero threat here. Something that sometimes gets missed in these severe weather events, a lot of times people focus on the tornadoes. They th don't think about the severe wind that could potentially develop as these storms start out super cellular, discrete, they're moving by themselves, and then they'll form these bowing segments of thunderstorms. A significant wind risk here from Chicago west to Iowa, and then pretty much that same area where we're seeing that higher tornado risk. And even further to the south, we could get some strong damaging winds. Potentially, especially here in this high risk area, the Storm Prediction Center was putting out some numbers like 75 up to 90 miles per hour. Whether we see that or not, I don't know. Either way, it's a high severe risk today. It's the kind of day you want to be weather aware. In other words, have a way to get warnings, especially this afternoon and into early this evening, at least through midnight in these areas. Also, that risk for hail is definitely there in some of these areas and even further to the south along our front into parts of Texas. The biggest question that I get a lot of times is when is it going to hit where I live? So find where you are on this map. We're going to slowly go through the future radar and kind of take it hour by hour. This is Eastern time. So Central time, take an hour off. Here we are at noon Central. Storms starting to pick up here across parts of Iowa, also parts of Nebraska. These will move off to the east as our area of low pressure deepens back here across South Dakota and Minnesota. We'll have a front somewhere in here, too. So that warm front will be a focal point for those storms that will want to ride right along it, too. You'll also get a lot of change of wind direction right along that warm front. That's where if you're going to see a quick spin up of a tornado, it may be there. And then look, here we are by 6 p.m. Central. Big storms going now from central Iowa south into Missouri. Again, some of these will get that uh, rotation on them just because you're going to have your winds aloft kind of coming in really more like this. And then at the surface, coming in like this. So with that wind shear out there increasing, those supercells will start to pick up. Now here we are by 8 o'clock Central, moving into central and western parts of Wisconsin, still west of Chicago by 8 p.m. Central, but moving into western Illinois and then down into Missouri here. By 9, 10 o'clock, we're east of Iowa and we're moving towards Chicago. So here we are at 10 p.m. Central, knocking on the western suburbs here of Chicago. It may be a little sooner and maybe a little later. That kind of gives you an idea, though, of what some of the short-range models are seeing. And then these storms continue to push off to the south and east, too, across parts of Missouri. Look at this, getting very close here to western Kentucky, western Tennessee. And then by midnight, that's where we are central time, these push off to the east. Notice here in Michigan, at least the lower peninsula, watch how these storms move across the lake and just... I don't want to say they're going to disintegrate. It'll be interesting to see if that actually happens because there is some cool water out there and that will likely have an impact on these storms. The driving feature for these storms will be this negatively tilted trough that's swinging through. We've also got some strong upper level winds that will be moving through this area through the, the afternoon and through the evening hours. That's going to help evacuate the upper level uh, 
exhaust, if you will, of these thunderstorms. I don't show this a lot, but the significant tornado parameter is definitely there. You can see where our front is going to be somewhere here. South of that is likely where we'll see the highest instability, the highest rotation in the atmosphere or the helicity. And then we'll also start to see those dew points increase out ahead of our system too. The issue right here along eastern uh, Wisconsin, I think that could potentially save you would be any influence from the lake. And I'm going to show you what I mean in just a second, but anywhere again to the south and also to the west, that's where your severe threat will be for tornadoes today. It doesn't mean we won't see them elsewhere. That's just where the highest risk is. So take a look at these dew points. Here's that cool water here on Lake Michigan. We've got dew points in the low 50s, even along in the 40s right here along the lake. But as our system moves through, look, you can clearly see that dry line punching through Iowa. That'll be your instigator for storms. Also Minnesota here at what, 9, 10 o'clock tonight. Look how we squeeze the dew points up here along the lakefront. So from the 50s quickly up into the 60s as we get that southerly flow increasing here. Here's a quick look at your surface winds again. We're out of the east here, southeast in some places even out of the northeast right along the lakefront. So your warm front likely somewhere here. That will lift to the north as we move through the day. Still a bit of an easterly component, southeasterly component through the lunchtime hour. But look, as we move into the afternoon, more of a southeasterly component here and then winds start to come out of the south and then try to squeeze some of that moisture north right along the lakefront as we move into the evening hours. So while conditions may not be super favorable now, that may change as we see that happening on some of the short range uh, model runs. That's the HRRR. The Northeast can't be not looked at either. We've got these storms moving through Southern Canada. These could get a little strong too across the border. And then eventually those, that system will start to move into New York. So from Buffalo south to Syracuse, even as far west as Rochester, these storms may get fired up, but the biggest threat will be right in here across northern parts of New York, even parts of Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, and then that dies down as we move into the overnight. Let's talk about Wednesday. The threat continues. Our front is still going to be here. Along that front, we'll see thunderstorms fire up again into the afternoon, and another impulse will be moving in from the southwest. That'll enhance those storms here across Texas, Oklahoma, even Arkansas. Another threat of some tornadoes here tomorrow on on Wednesday, the biggest threat, again, Arkansas back into Texas. Also, some very large hail possible with those strong updrafts as that system kicks off to the east. A quick look at the storms on Wednesday as our front sinks to the south. We'll see these storms fire up here across Ohio, Pennsylvania, back into Kentucky and Tennessee, Missouri, even into Arkansas. And some of these, again, could get strong into parts of northern West Virginia, Pennsylvania, back into Kentucky, and then across the southwest of this. Uh, there's your storm today. Here's your front, Drake out and it really kind of stalls out here like this and then we see these impulses ride right along that front so that first one will move through on Wednesday evening that'll enhance the storms here across Texas Oklahoma into Arkansas and it looks like that continues at least this pattern as this old washed out front lays here and we see these storms kind of rotating and just moving through right along our, what's left of our boundary so by Thursday another severe weather day here across the southern plains and parts of Arkansas and then what happens with what What's left of the storms across the northeast there could be some strong storms here into the afternoon and i'm telling you looking down the road um this isn't heading into the weekend this looks ominous too still too early to talk about severe threat here on this but with a negatively tilted trough do you see another round of severe weather here it's something i'll keep an eye on so if you like this kind of stuff i hope you'll subscribe thanks to everyone who's done so over the last couple of days and i hope you come back i'll catch you next time